This is a tip related to getting your USB driver installed for your NASA. Um, received a couple emails from viewers that were having problems with Windows 8. So I don't normally use Windows 8, but I have it running um, as a VM underneath Parallels. So wanted to just go ahead and put together a quick video that shows uh, the installation of the driver and um, you know the hookup with with the NASA controller. So uh, you start by going to the DJI, DJI website, going to products and NASA. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see uh, the driver installer. So go ahead and download that and then kick off the installation. I've connected the NASA. This is the parallels configuration, and I'm going to tell it, hey, you know, give control over USB to my Windows uh, machine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I'll run the uh, driver installer. Is, is main controller powered up and connected to PC via USB cable? Yes. So go ahead and go through this next. Okay, so the drivers are uh, being installed. We're going to install this driver software anyway. Installation is now complete. So I'm going to click finish. And then I'm going to go to the DJI site and I'll download the uh, NASA Assistant software, the latest version. So I'll go ahead and let's just download the EXE. We'll click run. Run again. We'll go ahead and click through these steps, accept the license terms. Okay, so now we're actually getting to the uh, assistant install. Previously, we had to just uh, install some Microsoft C++ components. So that is complete. Now we're going to install the assistant. All right, and if we're successful, we're going to launch and hopefully see that our uh, NASA controller is connected and configurable. Go ahead, I'll go ahead and log in. Logged into the NASA Assistant, and looks like my software and firmware are up to date. And you can see that the uh, NASA controller is actually <clears throat> connected and working in Windows 8. So this is just a quick how-to for connecting your NASA flight controller to your uh, Windows 8. And this is actually a developer preview. I don't know what build number it is, but if, if you're interested, just ask me in the comments and I'll share that with you. So I uh, hope this helps and good luck uh, getting the drivers going.